Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and in Today in Warframe, the Tenocon 2024 Tenocon tickets are now available for purchase. Amongst some other things, you know, we have prime time today as well, etc, etc, but hey, let's go over all of the Warframe news that quickly happened today. Before we talk about, hey Ruben, Tenocon, there is the Warframe Mobile Cert has been accepted. Warframe Mobile has now been updated. Hello, our cert submission has been resolved. Dante Unbound for iOS is now live. Thank you for your patience as we work through these issues. So if you are someone who is using Warframe Mobile for any reason, it is now live. You're good to go. Congrats, all good to go right there, 10 out of 10. Here is the Warframe Mobile 3.5 patch notes. I'm assuming you might be updated. Yeah, you should be on 3.5.1 already if you're on mobile, but that might have also just been posted as a separate post instead of at the bottom here. So all things considered, let's just quickly see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Dante Unbound. They don't have the little hotfix 3.5.5.1 or yeah, 35.5.1. But yeah, that's the general patch notes if you do want to take a look there. But more importantly, Tenocon, folks. Tenocon tickets are now for sale. I have bought my digital pack and I will show you what the digital pack has later in game. So no worries there. But if you buy the Tenacon digital pack, this is only for in-game stuff, right? So what do you get? You get a in-game sign Donna, a display, an emote, a glyph, and a sigil. It also includes an Arthur Floof, adorable, Protocol Hyra Throne weapon skin. It's cool, but it's a throwing weapon. So it's like, eh, maybe I won't use it that much. Like it's a throwing star. You get the Haiku Weapon plus Weapon Slot plus Installed Orkin Catalyst. Might keep this if I don't already have like a Prime or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then you get Platinum Regal Aya and a Barrow Relay Ticket. The Barrow Cut Tier Relay Ticket is the higher value item here because you can purchase during Tenocon any item from Barrow Katir ever that he's ever sold. So this is good to get from like mid tier players, like mid game players who have farmed up a lot of ducats as well as farmed up a lot of credits. Cause in order to buy mods, primed mods from Barrow Katir, you need, I believe a million credits and hundreds of ducats each mod. So 1 million credit, hundred of ducats and you're good to go. Or maybe it's hundreds of thousands of credits. Either way, you will need a lot of credits if you're going to buy everything from Barrow Katir, so start farming index if you're going to do that. With that, we also have the Tenocon General Admission. This is the physical product. You get Tenocon Admission, okay, and there's Teno VIPs on 719. Early access to registration and merch, that is the day before, you know. Then you have General Tenocon on 720. You get Tenocon Swag Bag and the Tenocon Digital Pack. So you get everything here as well everything here in the general admission. And that costs $30. That's right. The Tenocon digital pack costs $26.99 and general admission costs $30. Technically, it only costs $4, or sorry, $3 to enter Tenocon, but they include all the digital packs, so you gotta buy it. Ah, oh, that's how they get you. <laughs> no, it's just kind of funny that it's like, oh, it's only $4 more. So it's really not expensive to buy tickets to Tenocon. It's expensive to buy plane tickets and hotel tickets and well hotel anything order book a hotel hotel yeah anyways words that's the expensive part of traveling to these types of things so i'm not going this year if you are going congrats i went last year it was fun but i'm not a huge convention type of person it's fun to take a look at stuff but there's a lot of downtime and there's a lot of lines i don't like lines right it's always a little packed it actually wasn't terribly packed at tenocon there was, you know, room to move outside of when there was like big events like the Tenocon uh, live stream going on. So that's the nice thing, but they're a little too busy for me. I had fun last year going to uh, Tenocon, handful of people said hello, but I'm an awkward human that likes to sit at home and yell at clouds with chat. So yeah, I'll probably do that this year, but it was fun. So yeah, congrats everybody. It was a good time. I might go again one of these days, but I'm in no rush right now. A little too busy with other stuff and it costs too much money. There's also a collector's ticket. So this contains everything the general admission had, okay? It also contains the Tenocon 2024 collector's t-shirt and platinum. So legitimately you just buy this one if you want to get the t-shirt. 
So this is the t-shirt purchase. So if you want to show up in person, get the t-shirt, buy this. This is what I bought. I have the blue Tenocon shirt. Pretty cool. We also have VIP tickets, all sold out. It only really gets you more early access to Tenocon, VIP lounge access, VIP seating at all main stage panels, and Tenno VIP 2024 pin and lanyard. So you can, you know, pay to win, baby. You get access to cool stuff. And then the two people, only two people every year who can buy a legendary ticket for one grand, you know, $1,000. This was like $150. Uh, this is $1,000. They get to do a little studio tour uh, with one minute Q&A or 15 minute one-on-one -on -one dev Q&A. They get a voice recording session, personal glyph, only way I can ever get my corgi or a puppy dog glyph in game, so I cry. Legendary pack at Tenocon, Tenocon merch, and then all of this. I think the Tenocon digital pack is actually purchasable as well on Steam and maybe even the Epic Game Store. So if you end up buying it on the Epic Game Store, you can use Epic Games creator code Pupsker when you check out if you wanna support the channel because I am like an Epic partner, so it helps out, so thank you. And if you ever buy Platinum through the Epic Game Store and you use my code, I thank you or anything else, it all helps of course, so thank you. But that is all for the Warframe Tenocon tickets that you can buy. But guess what, baby? That's not all. We also have to check out what is actually going on in game. So what do these items look like? Well, you can see this is what the entire thing looks like in game. This will probably be the thumbnail if we're being honest. You get some platinum, you get some one regal Aya, there's the glyph, love it, hate it, let me know. You have the barrel relay ticket, July 20th to July 27th. You have a Tenocon sigil, right? Glyph there, sigil there. You have the Cyandana, so this is probably the cooler thing that we'll go take a look at. And the Protocol Hyra Throne Weapon Skin. So those are both really nice. Haiku right there, Haiko, however you wanna say it. And then a Tenocon display, it looks very pretty, that's Owie. And then you have your Arthur Floof. So let's go take a look to see what they look like in game and then judge it from there. So that's Owie right there. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's Owie. That is what the display looks like. Love it, hate it. She's sitting on her bike. You got some Tenno scroll on it. Oric language, whatever. Nice. And then down here, I have your boy, little Arthur Floof Excalibur. One of his eyes is white, one of his eyes is black because he has like the eye patch, I think. I think? I'd have to double check. Or maybe one of his eyes is just messed up and weird. Who knows? But that's the little Floof. Isn't he adorable? Look at him. Ah, he's so cute. Continuing on though, we can go take a look at the Tenocon Cyandana. Uh, I'm going to replace my Cyanana here with it. And then judge it as you will. I have a couple. You know, I like this Cyandana. I think it's like... Revenant Prime, uh, 2024, right? Boom, baby, you get a little backpack. Look at that. So right now the like little screen is not colorable. To my knowledge, it will be in a hot fix updated to be like a color toggle. Like you can actually color change it. So the screen, not yet, but soon you will be able to. But either way, that's what the sign Donna looks like. So you have like your radio equipment, the same, this is the, Arthur Excalibur backpack, Ooh, looking beautiful. If we wanna be a little more on top of that, we can look at, instead of wings, oh no, instead of this one, actually, yeah, screw it. We will throw on the, where is it? Signed Donna 2024. Oh yeah, this was last year's. This one was fucking big. This one was way different, right? Little backpack. It's like I'm going to school. Little Excal going to school. Yay. I love it. It looks really cute, actually. I don't know. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. It's a little backpack. And then you have the little radio antenna just sticking up through your head. It makes you look like... Oh my god, it makes you look like you're a robot. It makes you look like a remote-controlled Warframe. Holy shit. That's hilarious. It... I mean, technically you are a remote controlled Warframe. So, I like it. That's hilarious. I didn't even think about that. Your goddamn little antenna. That's how you get your Tenno signals, you know? Beep, 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 Okay, anyways, that's pretty interesting. I didn't expect that to just poke out like that, but yeah, that's kind of cute. So for now, that is what it looks like to get all of the Warframe 2024 cosmetics. Let me just look at the weapon skin. I forgot about that one, the Heiko. And then you can judge it from there. 
judge it as much as you want. Okay, I do have the Heiko Prime. So appearance, we'll put the skin on there. Oh my God, it's cool. I didn't even realize I had a throne weapon. Huh, the little card, that's cool as hell. I like that more, but that's the Heiko. Judge it as you will. Do you love it? It's hard to notice the protocol skin. I'm throwing on my card, oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna throw my blue eyes white Blue eyes, red dragon? Oh god, no. Blue eyes. <laughs> my three blue eyes, white dragons. And then I'm gonna make my blue eyes ultimate dragon. Oh no, but they have a dark dragon. Oh no. Ah. So yeah, that's the uh, that's what all the cosmetics are. Either way, judge them. Let me know if you hate them. Love them. If you're gonna grab them or not. Use Epic Games credit code PUPSCREEN. Check out all the socials. If you want to support the channel. Cheers.